Welcome back. So we're on page 37 now. And what we're looking at is um, increasing speed in the negative direction. So what is this? We've got observe the motion of the cart starting from rest. So starting here, and I let it go, and it rolls down the incline. So it rolls down by itself. It gets faster and faster. So first of all, you're just going to have a look at what it looks like. So always looking, turn it around. The banana here, and I let it go, and it speeds up. One more time, get most of it done. So I'll say go, and I'll catch it before it hits the end. Okay, as always, it's really important for you to attempt these um, before I go through the answers. So the first thing is you've got to draw a motion map and you've got to make sure you put both the velocity and the acceleration vectors. So pause now and have a go at that. Great, so hopefully you've had a go. I'm going to have uh, what I would think is a good motion map. It starts up here, so I draw that. And it starts off slowly and it gets faster and faster. So that means the dots get further apart. I'm now going to draw my velocity arrows on them. I'm not very good at drawing here. It's, <laughs> it's meant to be going down the hill, but it's we've had a, one too many beers tonight. There we go. Cool. And I always label them. I don't know why it sometimes just disappears. Right, because I label them because in physics now we're meeting lots of situations where there's different arrows representing different things. So it's really important to know what you're talking about with the arrows. Now these velocity arrows are getting bigger in this direction. So my acceleration arrow is always between. And my acceleration arrows show that they're getting bigger each time by this much, which is the same size. So I'm going to go A, A, A. I, if you wanted to show that they're exactly the same size, you could put a little equality sign on. Last time I did it with two arrow, uh, two lines. You can do it with one. You can do it with three. You can do it with whatever you want, as long as they're consistent. So this is consistently one, which shows they're all the same size. Is the velocity positive or negative? Here's my zero mark. This is the direction that's the positive direction. My velocity is going the other way. So my velocity is negative. Is my acceleration positive or negative? This is the tough one. It's speeding up. But the acceleration arrows are going the opposite way to where the positive sign is. So it doesn't matter that it's speeding up. We always take our positive and negative from which way is our positive. And our positive is going to the right. Our acceleration arrows go to the left. So our acceleration is negative. That's going to help you out, hint, hint, with the graph, the acceleration graph. Okay. I'd like you to predict the graphs describing this motion. So you're going to draw them in here. It's really important that you don't just watch this video, that you actually pause it when I ask you and you make an attempt. Remember, right or wrong, you go through this thing called hypercorrection. Your brain learns better if you have an attempt first. So for this one, have a pause the video now and make a prediction. Cool, you've made your prediction. Let's see what it actually does. I'm going back here. Don't look at these graphs. These are from um, the page before. I'm about to set up for um, to go again. I want to make this start when it, it's at one meter at the moment, and I'm going to make it automatically start when it crosses. It's at 1.004. It'll automatically start when it crosses one meter. So that's perfect. Um, so done. That's ready to go. I push start. I remove my banana. Cool. So here's my graphs. Um, you can see it starts from a position quite away from zero. Its gradient is very shallow, and then it gets steeper and steeper and steeper curve here. 
its velocity starts off near zero because it's not moving and then it becomes more and more negative and the acceleration is negative the whole time so let me sketch those in for you in case you just didn't quite get them where's my trusted red right the position um started far away and ended up at zero and it started off shallow and got steep my velocity started at zero because it wasn't moving and ended up going fast in the negative direction so it was a straight line like that and my acceleration was negative the whole time I right, pause the video and answer these questions then I'll go through them in just a tick right so the slope of the position time graph is um, it starts off at about zero and then after a while it's quite negative quite steep right and it's definitely negative so it's definitely negative and it started off zero and it increased in the negative direction it always represents velocity the slope of my velocity time graph well it's a straight line so it's constant but the slope's negative and it always represents acceleration great thanks